Hey friends, welcome to electronic configuration. So the learning objectives of this video are understanding the distribution and arrangement of electrons, three principles of electron distribution in shells, subshells and orbitals, N plus L rule, and the electronic configuration of iron by applying the three principles. Now let's start with the definition of electronic configuration. The distribution and arrangement of electrons in various shells, subshells and the orbitals is called electronic configuration. Arrangement of electrons is in three ways, shell wise, subshell wise and orbital wise. So the rules or principles of electronic configuration are of Bohr principle, Pauli exclusive principle and the Horn's rule. So what is of Bohr principle? Bottom up rule of filling orbitals. It means that we are going to fill the orbitals in increasing order of their energies. According to the Aufbau principle, the electron occupies the subshell in increasing order of their energies or N plus L rule. So friends, let's see the energy ordering of the orbitals. As you can see in the diagram that the filling starts from the low energy towards the high energy. So we will first fill the word 1 as subshell because it's having least energy, then 2 as 2p, 3s, 3p and then 4s instead of 3d subshell. So why we fill first 4, 4s subshell instead of 3d subshell? It is because the 4s having a less energy as compared to the 3d subshell. Therefore, 4s is filled first with electrons. Similarly, you can see here that the 5s orbital is filled first with electron instead of 4d subshell. The reason is the same that the 5s having the less energy as compared to the 4d subshell. So friends, here the question is that how can we find out the energy of the orbital? It's very simple. We can easily find out the energy of any orbital by using N plus L rule. So what is N plus L rule? According to the, this rule, a subshell with the lowest N plus L value has the lowest energy and filled first with electrons. When two or more subshells has the same N plus L value, then fill the one that has the lowest N value. So friends, you can easily see here in a diagram the increasing order of energy. One S subshell having a least energy, then the 2S orbital, then fill the 2P orbital, 3S orbital, 3P orbital, then 4S instead of filling the 3D orbital. After this, 3D orbital fill the 4P orbitals, then 5S orbital instead of filling the 4D orbital. So here, we can see that the 4s orbital is filled first with electron instead of filling 3d orbital and similarly the 5s orbital filled first with electron instead of filling the 4d orbital so we can prove this by using the formula n plus l rule friends as you know that the 4s subshell filled first with electrons then 3d subshell because of less energy. Here is a proof. Here I used N plus L rule to find out the energy of 4S and the 3D subshell. Friends, look at here, applying the N plus L rule for 4S subshell. Now by putting the value of N here, N value of N is for 4S subshell is 4, Whereas the value of L for S subshell is, we know that for S subshell, L is equal to 0. So put this value here, we get 4. So the energy of the 4S subshell is 4. Now come to the 
value or energy of the 3D subshell by applying the n plus l rule we know here that the n value is 3 plus the l value for D subshell is 2 so it's equal to 5 now look at here the energy of the 4S subshell that is equal to 4 and the 3D subshell that is equal to 5. So it's proved from here that 4S subshell having a least energy as compared to the 3D subshell. Therefore the 4S subshell is filled first with electron than the 3D subshell. Confused? So let's find out the n plus l rule for the first four subshells. So when n is equal to 1 and l is equal to 0, then according to the n plus l rule, the value of the energy for the first subshell is equal to 1. It means that it's having the least energy. When n is equal to 2 and l is equal to 1 for p subshell, so the n plus l rule is equal to 3. So its energy is comparatively high as compared to the S subshell. Now come to the N is equal to 3 and L is equal to 2 for D subshell. So the value of N plus L or the energy is equal to 5. And when N is equal to 4 and L is equal to 3 for F subshell, so the value of N plus L is equal to 7. It means that it's having a greatest amount of energy. So friends, the question is that what we can do when two or more subshells having the same n plus l value or energy. Look at here that the 3D, 4P and 5S having the same n plus l value that is equal to 5. So what we can do in this case? Simply fill first that have the less n value. So according to this rule, we can fill first the 3D, then 4P and at last 5S subshell. So let's discuss the second principle of electronic configuration that is the Pauli exclusive principle. Simply, paired electrons have opposite spin. It states that no two electrons in an atom can have a same set of the four quantum numbers. For a given orbital, the two electrons have the same values of principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number, but have a different spin quantum numbers. An atomic orbital may have two electrons. We know that the atomic orbitals having a maximum of two electrons. Both electrons may be in the same shell, same subshell, but they must have an opposite spin. It means that if one electron in an orbit spin clockwise, then the other electron must have an anti-clockwise spin. Look at here the helium orbital. Here the two electrons are in the first shell, that is the K shell, the first subshell, that is the S subshell, but these two electrons having an opposite spin. Look at here that the first electron having a clockwise spin, whereas the second electron having an anti-clockwise spin. So the third principle of the electronic configuration is the Horn's rule. According to this rule, fill orbital first singly before doubling up. According to this rule, if one electron is in the subshell, then it can be spin clockwise or anti-clockwise. If two electrons are there in the subshell, then if one spin clockwise, then the second electron must spin in the anti-clockwise direction. Or, and in case of degenerate orbitals, then the electron first fills singly before doubling up. So friends, if we have seven electrons, then how we can fill these electrons according to the Hund's rule, having an electronic configuration of 1s2, 2s2 and 2p3. 
So according to the Hund's rule, we have two electrons in the s orbital, one s orbital. So if one electron spin clockwise, then the other must spin anti-clockwise direction. The second two s orbital also having two electrons. So one electron will spin clockwise, whereas the other electron will spin anti-clockwise. Now what about the 2p orbital? Here in 2p orbital, we have three electrons. So how we can fill these three electrons? According to the Hund's rule, if we have degenerate orbitals, means that the orbitals having same energy as here in case of 2p orbital, we have three degenerate orbitals. So in this case, fill the electron first singly before doubling up. So we have three electrons here we can fill first the 2p x orbital then 2p y orbital and the 2p z orbital so the first case here is a correct whereas the second one is incorrect because here the first 2p orbital having doubling of electrons which is not possible according to the Hund's rule friends Let's try to find out the electronic configuration of the iron. So the shell-wise electronic configuration of the iron having 26 electrons is K shell, 2 electrons L shell having 8 electrons, M shell 14 electrons and the N shell having 2 electrons. Now the subshell-wise electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2 and the 3d6. Here we know that why we fill the 4s first then the 3d because we know that the 4s having less energy as compared to the 3d subshell. Therefore, we fill first the 4s with electrons then the 3d. So friends, let's start filling the electrons according to the Hund's rule. So first, fill the 1s orbital having the least energy so here we fill the two electrons with opposite spin then 2s orbitals also having two electrons with opposite spin then come to the 2p orbitals having six electrons to so according to the Hund's rule we will fill first this electron singly then doubling up then the 3s orbital also having two electrons with opposite spin then 3p orbital having 6 electrons so first fill it singly then doubling up then the 4s orbital also having 2 electrons with opposite spin and at last 3d orbital having 6 electrons so how we can fill this 6 electron so here in case of degenerate orbital we will first fill this electron singly and then start doubling up so this is all about the electronic configuration of the iron. So friends, if you like my video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Digital Chemistry. Thanks for watching.